All right, folks, today, uh, second job of the day, I'm out here in Cyprus area, I believe, uh, between 249 and 290. Um, we've got bees that I hope are in the floor. Um, they're going in right there on the corner by the chimney, and they're doing the same on the <coughs> opposite side of the chimney over here, which had me concerned that they were actually in the chimney. However, I went inside and uh, knocked on the floor upstairs, and I could really hear them buzzing. I mean, they're really well, um, a good two feet under the floor away from the chimney. So. I'm hoping that they're just going in there because that's where they found an entrance because it's not sealed up tight around the chimney. Uh, so what we're going to do is at least cut open the ceiling on the inside and hopefully that's where they're at and uh, we'll show you that. Okay, so here we are inside and uh, I went ahead and uh, went and bought a big tarp just so I have it. I should have brought one, should have known better but I didn't so I had to go get one. Uh, put a big tarp down to help protect the floor and the fireplace and everything. It's brick across the whole wall so if they're down inside the wall it's there's no getting to them. Um, and upstairs there's hardwood floor so I don't want to tear through the floor upstairs so we're going to go in through the ceiling here start off just cut a small hole and confirm that I found the nest <laughs> and then with that I'll come back and I'll cut out as much drywall as it takes to expose the whole nest all right well we finally found them it wasn't easy uh, but they're not in the chimney that's the good thing uh, we cut started there cut a hole then to there then back to there and then over to here and when I finally cut this hole here I saw a little cluster of bees in the corner, so we cut one more and <coughs> boom, now they are a big, big colony. Uh, I had to do a little work upstairs just trying to find them. This one really had me stumped, but right now we've just got the access hole cut so we can see. I'm going to vacuum off as much as I can to be bees here, just kind of start getting them uh, contained, and then I'll take my saw and go ahead and cut out, you know, along here further as much as I have to to expose the colony. And, and, you know, they, since they've been across over on that side, they very well could be over on this side too, I'm just not sure yet. So. Anyway, glad we found them, but we got to get after it. All right, folks. Well, I forgot to make the uh, follow-up video on this hive. I apologize for that, but I got a little thrown off. Um, I never did find the queen, positively ID the queen on the job, and that's what throws me off is because, you know, normally the next video clip that I make <laughs> is uh, showing you the queen. Um, I never saw her, though. I never found her, and my hope was that I vacuumed her. However, I did drop one chunk of comb. The second to last big piece of comb fell down inside the wall. So, she, I mean, she may have been on that, but I dropped it and we kept working for probably another hour and a half and the bees kept clustering up in different spots and I looked and looked and looked and never found her. Um, so I checked in the hive just now, two days later, and no queen cells. So they're not pulling queen cells and I saw larvae that are the right size to be turned into queen cells uh, and even still a few eggs, uh, but I don't know how old those eggs are, if they're, you know, one day or three day. Um, but no queen. I didn't, oh, I didn't mean I didn't see her. I didn't positively identify her. So, um, for right now, I'm hopeful that maybe I did vacuum her up and that she's in there and that I just didn't see her. Um, we'll check back in a couple days and if I see eggs again in a couple days, that'll answer that question because, you know, three days after Thursday, there can't be eggs if there's no queen. So anyway, I just wanted to offer you this little follow-up, uh, kind of wrap up on the video because I didn't, didn't get a chance to do it that night. 